Hey guys, it's Will. I just wanted to talk about uh, ARK ETFs that you can get in Canada. And this is a company called Emerge. So I'm in Canada and I was what I was doing at first was I was just buying US and Canadian stocks and ETFs in my regular accounts. And then I would get, uh, every time I'd sell, it would go into Canadian, it would convert it. And so there was fees for converting back and forth to US dollar. And then over the past so many months, there's been a decline in the US dollar, uh, which is sort of a separate issue. But um, I started focusing more on Canadian stocks uh, and ETFs and hedged uh, hedged ETFs and stuff like that. But um, so then I, I had my investments in the Canadian accounts. Um, and so anyway, I thought I would point out that you can get some of the ARC funds in Canada, instead of buying the, the ARC ones, there's uh, these ones from Emerge. So they have um, a bunch here. So they've got the ARC K, E-A-R-K, which is the ARC K. Uh, it's got a bunch of, you know, it's a, it's a catch-all of the different areas. It's got genomics, industrial, um, internet, and fintech, industrial, all kind of connected. There's a robotics autonomous, E-A-U-T, so that's the ARC-Q, um, and it's got 3D printing, so they don't have the 3D printing ETF, but um, the 3D printing is in this uh, this one. The FinTech, which is the ARC-F, this is E-A-F-T. And then E-A-G-B is the genomics, which is the ARC-G. And then there's this big data, E-A-A-I, cloud computing, internet of things, and stuff like that. Um, so ARC has an, an ARC W fund, which is the web 2.0. But um, so then if you want to um, see those, they are um, in trading view. I've added them to the, uh, to my watch list here. So we'll just take a look at the EARK. And, um, you know, you can see that we had a huge run until about um, mid-February. And then once it broke through the 50, um, you know, we had, we're having this decline. Now, there's been a bit of a... So here he had supported the 200, but then at the beginning of May, it broke through. So the question is whether this is the low point here in uh, May 11th, if that was the low or or it's going to keep going down with the expansion opening up of the economy and you know more of the value stocks so that's remains to be seen but um you know when when it when a stock when this thing starts to break through etf through the uh, moving averages and it comes back you have to get through those etfs as i mean sorry those moving averages as resistance so you can see how when it acted as support here it'll act as resistance on the way back up so the 50 and the 200, um, you also have this 50 crossing the 200. So, um, you know, that's not a great indicator, but um, if you're more conservative, what you can do is wait for the um, price to get up above the 200 and the 50. And, and obviously, you know, also for the 50 to get above, you know, to be sloping upward. But earlier entries, you know, you can, when you see this, um, sort of support, you know, after a few days where it didn't break down below this low of about 17 in Canada here, um, you can get in there and then you can see what happens. But, um, you know, there's likely to be some resistance up here, um, you know, at this level, which is 20 and also at these moving averages. So it's got some work to do, but, um, you know, I just wanted to point out that um, you can get these ARC funds if you're in Canada um, from Evolve, in, I mean Emerge, instead of um, buying the ones in the U.S. account. So we shall talk to you in the next video.